Hi, this is Gary with Go Engineer, and today I'm going to show you how to optimize SOLIDWORKS for faster performance. Now before I begin, I'd like to point out that many of these changes will not increase modeling performance or functionality, and some of them will actually compromise a degree of functionality in favor of faster performance. First, we are going to look at add-ins. Next to each add-in is the last load time. You can see some take longer than others to load, and all of them do add some degree of load time. CAM especially takes quite a long time to load, and I don't use it very often, so I will disable that at startup by unchecking the box. I do, however, use PDM and the library quite often, so I'll leave both of those selected. Everything else I do not use, I'll leave unselected. I will then click OK. Next, I'll click on Options and Document Properties. I will scroll down to Image Quality, and I'll move both sliders down to the lowest setting. I will then make sure that Optimize Edge Length is unselected, and I'll also make sure that Improve Curve Quality at higher settings is unselected. I will then go to System Options, and under General, I will ensure that the Enable Freeze Bar is selected. I will then ensure that next to When Rebuild Errors Occur, I have selected Prompt. I will then find the selection for Show Thumbnail Graphics in Windows Explorer, and I will uncheck this box. Then, I will uncheck the box next to Show Latest Technical Alerts. Next, I will go to Drawings and Performance. I will deselect the top two boxes for Show Contents While Dragging Drawing View, and Allow Auto Update When Opening Drawings. I will then navigate to Display Style, and for both of the Edge Quality selections, I will choose Draft Quality. Next, I will go to Colors. Under Colors, I will ensure that Plain is selected for Background Appearance, and I will ensure that both of these two boxes are selected for using the specified color for Drawings Paper, and the specified color for Shaded Edges. Once we are done in here, I'll go to Display. For Assembly Transparency, I will select Maintain Assembly Transparency. Under Anti-Aliasing, I will select None. We will then move on to Performance. Under Performance, we will first look at Verification on Rebuild. Now this is typically a useful setting for very complicated parts, but it does add extra processing time. So to improve speed, we are going to make sure this is unselected. However, if you are working with complicated parts, it is best to leave that one selected. The reason being that this will help check for geometric conflicts. Next, we will look at transparency. I will deselect both boxes for high quality. Under curvature generation, I will move the slider over to slow or even off. Next, under Assemblies, I will select Automatically Load Components Lightweight. This will cause SOLIDWORKS to only load a subset of model data and not all of the model data, which will save time. For Check Out of Date Lightweight Components, we will select Indicate. For Resolve Lightweight Components, we will select Prompt. And for Rebuild Assembly on Load, we will also select Prompt. For Mate Speed Animation, we will select either Slow or Off. I will select Off. Next, we will look at Assemblies. First, we will find Prompt Before Changing Mate Alignments on Edit, and select the box next to it. We will also select to Save New Components to External Files. We will then make sure that Large Assembly Mode is enabled under Opening Large Assemblies. This box is checked. And we will go ahead and change this number to about 300. We will then go down to When Large Assembly Mode is Active, 
and select Do Not Save Auto Recover Info. Next, we will look at external references. For a load reference documents, we will select Prompt. And we will then uncheck Reference Documents Specified in File Location for Search External References. Then we will make sure that Don't Prompt to Save Read Only Reference Documents is selected. We will make sure that is unselected. Then under Assemblies, we will make sure that Update Component Names is selected. Next, we will look at the Feature Manager. And in here, we will uncheck the box for Use Transparent Flyout Feature Manager tree. Then, we will go to View. And in View, we will unselect the box for Zoom to fit when changing to standard views. Under Transitions, we will move all the sliders down to Off or Slow. Finally, we will go to Search and ensure that Index Only When Computer is Idle is selected. That's it for the settings we will change. And remember, if you ever have any undesired results and don't remember which setting caused it, you can go back down to Reset and reset this page only to default settings. And you can also reset all options. as this will reset all options to default. This is Gary with GoEngineer and that wraps up my video on how to optimize solvers for faster performance. Thank you for watching.